Hey friends, Peggy Hall back with you from the healthyamerican.org. I want to clarify some of my comments regarding hepatitis B and the cocktail. And I covered this in a couple of my videos. If you are on my channel here, let me share my screen. You'll see that you can click under, here's where you go to the Healthy American, Peggy Hall. You can click uh, on the home, but you need to click on videos to get all of my videos. And I talked about the hepatitis B for children. And then I did a live video also about did God make a mistake? And that is where we went to a website called the Physicians for Informed Consent. And the organization there is doing fantastic work in bringing you written materials, breaking down the information about the vaccines for these diseases, and then talking about whether or not the disease is more deadly than the cocktail. And this is a wonderful jumping off point, especially for people that may not be as savvy and sophisticated as you are in terms of wanting to say no to these very risky interventions. But I wanted to clarify some of my comments, and I want to thank all of you that left a comment on my Substack because I also did a just a very brief summary, and I'll take you over there. Remember, the Substack is free. That is PeggyHall.Substack.com, and this is where you can read my written analysis. It's kind of a summary of my videos, and I wanted to make sure that everybody understands where I stand in terms of the. Uh, how do I call it? Virology, uh, virali, the lieology. Maybe I'll just call it that. Before we dig in a little more, I want to remind you that I have a second video for you today with some very happy news, but I also want to bring you some happy news from my sponsor. So let's hop right on over. Give me just a moment as we hear again from my friends over at noblegoldinvestments.com. Listen, if you are at all interested, don't take it from me, take it from them. I would love for you to give them a call. And here's the phone number right here. It is, let me grab that for you. 877-646-5347. And in this world of economic uncertainty, safeguarding your retirement savings is more important than ever. Gold is a trusted source of value, providing stability for centuries through countless market cycles. With a gold IRA from Noble Gold Investments, you can protect your financial future with the enduring power of precious metals. Do not let this election volatility erode your hard earned nest egg. You can vote. And what you should vote for is the timeless safety of gold and silver in 2024. And for those of you that are my Trump fans, actually, let's look over here. You can get 10 one ounce silver Trump coins. And if you prefer, you can choose this instead, which is a 10 ounce silver American flag bar. You get that with your qualifying account. Noble Gold Investments, your partner in financial peace of mind in 2024. I'll have a link for you in the description box below. Along with the disclaimer, there's always a risk of investment. There's no guarantee, but get your questions answered from the experts in the United States with noblegoldinvestments.com. Friends, let me clarify some of my comments related to the hepatitis B disease. I have really gone on a rant related to this hep be cocktail that is inflicted upon the innocent newborns. And I was sharing with you directly from the CDC what they say and other websites about the risks associated with getting hepatitis B. And I was pointing out the hypocrisy from the CDC stating that the risk factors include shared hypodermic needles, such as from drug addicts, uh, unprotected sex with multiple partners, uh, a blood transfusion, being exposed to infected blood, or living with someone in the household that has hepatitis B, or contracting it from the mother. So the CDC itself states that these are the risks. The point that I was making is the hypocrisy of the risks related to a newborn infant who was not going to be engaging in most of these behaviors. We also talked about the curious requirement of this vitamin K shot, which is more of a steroid and not exactly a vitamin. And I broke down in detail what the literature says about the dangers of those ingredients. I'm not one that harps on the ingredients 
ingredients because it's not about the ingredients per se, it's about your right of refusal. But here's where I wanna clarify. I was reading from the CDC about the risks of this contagious disease. And this is where I realized I didn't go far enough to remind everyone that the whole concept of contagion and contagious diseases and infectious diseases, that this is all based on a theory, a theory of virology. There are wonderful substacks out there. In fact, I think I will do a substack listing and recommending other substacks where there are individuals far more sophisticated than I am in this realm who can speak very clearly and compellingly about the lack of evidence for this theory. Remember, a theory means that it's just, it has not been proven. It is a working model to explain something. So the idea of a contagious disease such as hepatitis B has never been proven. And I didn't mention that in my previous videos. My focus was on my outrage that infants should be subjected to any of these poison needles. And I was showing the hypocrisy of a so-called disease and the so-called risk factors and how that doesn't even match up. It defies logic, even for those who believe in contagious diseases. As I said, there are others that are far more sophisticated and educated in this realm. And one of them is my friend and fellow freedom fighter. And that you probably know her, that is Dr. Sam Bailey and also her husband, Dr. Mark Bailey. They were guests on my private webinar a couple of months ago. And I decided that I'm going to edit a portion of that private webinar and play it for you here on YouTube. But I do wanna thank all of you that are a paid subscriber to my Substack or, or a donor and a financial partner in the work that I do. I really appreciate you. And to show my support, we do these monthly live private webinars. You don't appear on screen. And if you can't make it live, they're all recorded for you. And if you do send in a donation, you will get access to all of the previous webinars that we've done well over a year. We're going on two years now. So let me share with you Dr. Sam's website. She basically has been really censored from YouTube. And let me grab this for you here. So her YouTube channel has like only 10% of her content. So let me take you right on over. And she's got wonderful videos. This one in particular is about hepatitis. So it is drsambailey.com. I'll leave a link for you in my Substack. It's difficult for me to leave too many links in the description of this video because YouTube will give strikes to channels if they don't like the outgoing link. That's how much the censorship has uh, gotten so strict. So you've got Q&A with Dr. Sam and Dr. Mark, and then she breaks down the hypocrisy related to hepatitis. She explains exactly what hepatitis is, what, what the true risk factors are. And Dr. Sam and her husband, Dr. Mark, are, well, trained medical doctors, but they both gave up their licenses because they could not stand what was going on in modern medicine. And Dr. Sam and Dr. Mark live in New Zealand. And as you and I know, that was one of the most shut down areas. So hepatitis is inflammation of the liver. And what Dr. Sam explains to us, and I would love for you to watch that video, is that toxicity in our environment, and also poor health choices for what we eat, how we sleep, what, you know, if we drink alcohol or not, all of that can show up as stressing the liver. So the liver is one of the major organs of detoxification, the liver, the lungs, the kidneys, the bowels, and the skin. That's why we sweat and we need to use the bathroom. And that is how our body functions when it is eliminating all of the metabolic waste. And when your liver or kidneys or skin or lungs are overtaxed with your poor choices, then that can put a burden on those organs. Again, listen to the medical doctors that I trust Dr. Mark and Dr. Sam. I also will be having Dr. Chari as my guest in one of our upcoming, I believe it's going to be the end of this month, in our upcoming private webinar, also to talk about detoxification, why your body needs it, what you can do to support it. And that I, I hope is going to be of value to you. So I'm glad that I was able to set the record straight. I don't believe in 
how do I put it? There is not enough compelling evidence for me to conclude that the theory of virology is anything more than a theory. I've spoken about this at length. I appeared in the movie called Terrain. I've been interviewed by Dr. Andrew Kaufman. We've been on uh, different you know, roundtables before. Dr. Sam, I've been on a couple interviews with. And I'll have to have Dr. Andy come on one of my private webinars as well so that we can speak freely without censorship. Thank you, everybody, for being on board. I'm glad that I could set the record straight. As you know, you want to keep the needles for newborns. You want to keep the needles away from the newborns. That is my take-home message. Go to Physicians for Informed Consent. I have a link for you in my Substack as well, and you can get all of the written information about these so-called diseases, the so-called risks, and then the cocktails. And the question always is, is the disease or is the cocktail more harmful than the disease? They do a great job of breaking that down for you. I typically don't get into the science and the medicine of it. I'm much more about your rights, but I understand that there are a lot of people that are just hopping on board and I am uh, honored and privileged to be able to shed the light on some of these areas where some people are just emerging from the darkness. So speaking of darkness, it's been a little dark in the Hall household over the last couple of months, but the sun is shining again. Stay tuned for my upcoming video where I'll explain exactly what's going on and why you see a smile on my face again. Thanks everyone. And I look forward to seeing you in the upcoming video.